Hi people of YouTube, my name is Erin and welcome to my newly established channel. Today's video we will be talking about the Queen of Ballet herself, Marianela Nunez. I wanted to make a video demonstrating 10 qualities that I think make her such an incredibly moving dancer. This is definitely an opinion video, so if you don't agree with me, that is fine. I've always been really inspired by her and her movement quality, how she approaches her roles, her work ethic, everything like that. So I wanted to kind of share some of my thoughts and if you're interested, keep watching. So without further ado and me continuing to awkwardly ramble, let's go ahead and get started with the video. First up is freedom through body awareness and understanding. She's so put together and so controlled, yet at the same time, she, because of that body awareness she has over herself, knowing exactly where she is in space and time, an understanding of herself, her technique, what she can handle, where she is, where her balance point is, all of that leads her to the ability to let go. And I think some of the most beautiful and expressive dancing comes from the freedom of letting go. She really has an impeccable way of showing that through a very intentional awareness of where she is. Number two, full body movement with the head as an extension of the Epalmon port bra. Look at how far her head goes back. Without crunching though. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Her head is... People who know me probably are annoyed because I talk about this so much, but the way she uses her head is insane to me. The way she uses it is like breaking rules, I think. It makes her movement so full. I used to have a teacher that would always call it that full body movement where it's everything head to toe. Shout out to Miss Marlena, by the way. You know, we think of, okay, four limbs, one, two, three, four. But what happens to this, you know, limb? So this has to do something to it. Can't just be still and, and stagnant. Next up, number three is musicality. Oh, every accent. She gets every accent and every suspension so perfectly. Oh, that little balance. And right there. It's as if we're watching the music be visually represented by her dancing. I mean, I can see each note in everything she does. Even the little simple, like, artistic flair of her wrists. It's so musical. I, I mean, that's what makes really, truly exciting dance to watch is when it's like the music and the dancer are married together. It's not isolated events happening on top of each other, but they're, they're one. Number four, the power of embodying a character. For this clip, I chose Giselle Act One Bad Scene because what better scene to watch of someone really delving deep into themselves and pulling out a character. So, let's watch.
I got a little emotional watching it. I specifically chose this clip because it's, it, there isn't any dancing. She's able to become, not even portray, become this character. You can see the character solely by her facial expression. She's emoting exactly what the character Giselle would be emoting. Dance is not only a form of expression through your body, it's also acting. When I watch the dancers that I respect the most, they are completely willing to put that vulnerability out on the table. Just the subtleness of how her face changes is relatable and powerful. Number five is curiosity and willingness to be a constant learner and lover of the art. And you're saying that you swore, but not to me, yeah? And there's, as you say swear, there's, that's, there's a sense of hope because at one point you did do this to him and, and he, he almost went to do it, yeah? And, in a second, just relive the moment or... Marianella is so invested in what Liam Scarlett is saying in that moment and coaching. You can see it. You can see how she's, she's like eager. She's eager to learn more. It's not like, oh, I've done this role a thousand times. That's like not her mindset at all. And I don't think it should be if you want to grow as an artist. She's very willing and curious to learn more, which I love and highly encourage. If you are always striving to be the best version of yourself, then I would recommend staying really open and receptive to new information. Number six, using what you have and playing to your strengths. Well, what, what exactly does that even mean? Well, of course, continuing to work hard and progress towards your weaknesses. If you have a strength or you have something in your realm, whatever you do have, use it to 100%. It was hard for me to find a video for this specific quality just because you could say it about any video and I don't necessarily know how to like show that through a video. So let's just watch. The way she maintains her rotation, first of all, her fourth position is so rotated. I mean, it's so beautiful. Incredibly beautiful. Clearly, rotation is a strength of hers. Maybe one she worked really hard for, I don't know. But she definitely has it now. It's so, it's so beautiful. So I get really excited because I have such a, a love and appreciation for how hard ballet is. I love watching people succeed. I love watching people at the top of their element. It just makes me really happy and super inspired. Number seven is use of footwork and expression. Oh, just her little cougars. They're so fast. They're so fast and so beautiful. She's just floating. And then right here, this roll down into such a turned out position. Those kurus, such a beautiful step, first of all, when they're done well. Um, they're so fast, so articulate. And then she does that little fuerte roll down and you can see just every inch of the shoe breaking down. Um, you might not consciously be like, wow, look at that roll down, but subconsciously it creates that whole mystery and mystique and magic. Next up, number eight is my favorite, personally, work ethic. Here Mary Nellis dancing at the Royal Ballet. She does one, two, one down on the third, beautiful roll down. One, two, three, four, five, six, into roll down, Shelly's, oh my gosh. Stunning, absolutely stunning. So as you can see there, her first turn wasn't her best. I still thought it was beautiful, but it wasn't her best. And then she fixed herself, thought about what she needed to do, and she doubled what she did. <laughs> That's a great example of not giving up and working hard. Like, just don't give up. Things are not always gonna be perfect. They're not always gonna work out the way you want them to. 
but your best friend is going to be perseverance. Number nine, indulging in special moments. Sorry, this is one of my favorite videos of her because it's so like, wait, what? As a performing artist, one of the joys is being able to indulge and fully relish in moments of magic and moments that are really special. That's the beauty of live theater, of live performances. Things are, some things will go bad, but then some things will go really good. Maybe she did that balance in the studio every single time. I have a feeling maybe that's not what happened and it just kind of spontaneously happened on stage and she lived in that moment. The most impressive thing to me is that she doesn't lose the character at all and this reflects back to my earlier quality of embodying the character. She never breaks character. There are some videos of her having really special moments on stage where she balances or she suspends something and she fully embraces those. And I think that that's kind of one of the really fun parts about being a performing artist. And I highly encourage anyone and everyone to, to find those moments for themselves. And last but not least, number 10, finding utter delight and absolute love for what you do. She just looks so elated and of course she's portraying a character so it's really the character but I also feel like that's how she feels all the time when she's dancing and I love watching it. I hope that these 10 qualities I've shared with you will be used to help your dancing progress and your growth continue as a young artist or even older artist. These are things I strive to work on, so I hope you, uh, you will as well. Um, down below, I've linked all of the video clips. If you want to watch them in full, I highly recommend it. And yeah, check back next time for a new video on my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in seeing more videos from me, please subscribe to this channel as well. I will be covering a broad range of topics, um, basically anything I'm interested in, which is a lot. The majority will probably be dance because that's where my profession lies at the moment, but I'm interested in covering a broad range of things. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for future video content, please put them down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear new ideas or any feedback would be great. Um, thank you again so much for being here today and I hope you have a lovely day.